Thank you, Mari. I don't like smoking competition. Can I smoke other stuff? Um, of course. In Minecraft, of course. Welcome in. Hi, Mint. I'm sorry about yesterday. Um, hi, Mint. My day going is going pretty good. I woke up at 5 a.m. again, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll go grocery shopping at 5:30 a.m. like a psycho again." <laughs> but I was annoyed because like the bus heading back home was like 30 minutes late, so I didn't get back until like 8 o'clock when I should have gotten back by like 7. I was annoyed, but you know. It do be like that sometimes. We love public transit. And like, I've thought about it. Even if I could drive, I probably would still take the bus if it's like local. The bus is more ecological. I know. And what's cool is, uh, um, in my county, they're transitioning to more electric buses. Like, we have more hybrids, which is cool. Okay, now I'm ready. Three, two, one. Go. I gotta turn the music down. There we go, nice and calm now. Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well. Today we had Kimari and Mint in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Um, we're playing Mario Kart today. But before we do some Mario Kart gaming, we have a few things to talk about. And I, I just realized I didn't clean my glasses this morning. Cause like when I go like this, my lenses press up against my eyebrow. So it's fucking oily. Oh, we missed 11 11. Make a late wish, everybody. Um, before we get started, I'll say we're at 44 subs. Let's do 50 today. 
Sub goal 50. Can we be a big, small streamer? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Yesterday, I technically went live. We did a sub only stream yesterday where I beat all of the Anora bosses in Quilt Lamb. So if you want to watch that VOD, it's unpublished on Twitch, but it will be on YouTube later this month. So if you're a non sub, considering, consider subscribing to the VOD channel. All previous streams and Subscriber only streams will be archived on that YouTube channel. So go subscribe. Talking about YouTube, guys. Big news. Huge news. Huge. This is huge. Where is it? The scene. My Peace in 17 Clips channel on YouTube hit a thousand subscribers. Let's go. So, most chatters know this is how you found my initial. Um. Twitch channel is, you know, I post the same vertical video clips on TikTok, YouTube, and then IG Reels. So that's probably how most of y'all have found me, but out of all the platforms, YouTube was the hardest to build, but the short UI has been popping off for the past six months, and I finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Is there? Okay. For the YouTube plaque buttons, I know it's 1 million, 100k, right? So... We have 99,000 more subs to go, everybody. But I, I, cause like, near the end of yesterday's stream, I had like 999, and I was like, is today gonna be the day? And yes, I think it's at 1,002 subs overnight. So let's go, finally! Yeah, Mint, we made a um, follower after you, so I would never forget. Um, what else? What else? So, for monetization on YouTube, you need to have a thousand subs and then watch hours. So, since my clips channel is all shorts, I am <laughs> I don't have the watch hours. So, even though I have the sub count, it's gonna be a while to like you know rake in the money. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. But this is a huge milestone. Wait, I didn't tell my sister because <laughs> every week my sister would be like, "Hey, how many subs do you have?" Because Years ago, she tried to, like, do, like, fan edits, and then she kind of fell off, so she's been kind of, like, keeping tabs on my channel. She won't subscribe, though. Fake friend. Fake fan. Um. But yeah, everybody, go sub to the Clip channel. Um, throughout the summer, I'm gonna be working on more, like, edited short from clips, not just shorts. So, subscribe for more normal video content. Um, what else? What else? So, that was cool. That was great yesterday. That was- that made my day when I logged into my YouTube. What else? Oh, everybody, new best of... Can we pause? Stop, pause, I want to mute this. You have to watch this later. New best of compilation. Once again, thank you to Cole Bobo. You literally... You literally made all the clips for this month. So thank you. Everybody, new best of compilation. It is posted on YouTube, TikTok, IG, Reels, and Twitter. Go like it. Best month of May. A lot of Mario Kart clips. I need to play more games, don't I? Um, so that is up. On Twitter, you can only have 2 minute 20 video. So there's a full version. A full 3 minute, like 30 second full version on YouTube on the Clips channel. Go subscribe. That was, I edited this this morning. Because <laughs> like, when I edit, like I have to be in the mood. Like usually, I can sit down and crush through a simple edit. Because it's usually just like... Rewatching footage and trimming, it's easy shit. I don't do um, After Effects because uh, I don't know. After Effects seems kind of gimmicky, it needs to have intent behind your animations. Yeah, it's easy because I watched, I rewatched all the clip last night and then I trimmed this morning. So, yeah. And then this weekend, when I didn't stream, I didn't say I was going to stream this weekend. Oh, another thing. Wait, let me pull this up. We, we do our weekly updates on Tuesdays, I forget. Where is it? Also, um, I'm sorry, Megan lied. Peace and lied, people died. Um, it was National Donut Day on Friday. I said I would do a stream, but then I didn't because, um, me, my sister, and my roommate were planning to go see The Little Mermaid on just Saturday. But then we saw that the Spider-Verse movie was coming out this weekend, so we're like, shit, we gotta see that too. So I went to movie theaters twice this weekend. 
honestly, I love the movie theater. It is so much fun. Anyway, so I did a stream on Friday. We'll, we'll do donuts next year. I'll actually make donuts next year. <laughs> um, so we went to the theater twice this weekend. We saw... First, we saw The Little Mermaid. Um, I went into this movie not, like, expecting a whole bunch. Like, I I don't know. I, w I figured it was gonna be cringe. Um, so yeah. Oh, from scratch? Yeah, next year, I'll try to make donuts from scratch. Because you need to have, like, a fryer. So... I, I think I can make it from scratch. I think so. I don't know. Anyway, so we saw the Little Mermaid movie on Friday morning. And we went at like 9 a.m. Right when the theater opens. And we got outside the building at like 8.30. And the doors were locked. So we were like, oh shit. So my, my sister, she's so annoying. She was like jostling the doors. And I'm like, what are you doing, you psycho? And then they unlocked the doors at like... 8.45, so we barely had enough time to, like, get our little snackies. Anyway, so the movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, mute the stream for two minutes, okay? So, Live Action Little Mermaid. It was fine. Uh, I'll read off the tweet. Saw the Live Action Little Mermaid. It was it. Appreciated the craftsmanship of the VFX, but the underwater sequences lacked the same emotion as the surface scenes. Definitely not as kidsy as I thought it'd be. Love the Ursula Unfortunate Soul sequence a lot. 7 out of 10. I gotta sneeze. Hi, Kobobo, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? So, I enjoyed the movie. Like, it was still, like, nice to watch. And I was talking about this with my sister after the movie. But, um, the issue with a lot of the VFX, like, underwater sequences is if you think about, like, traditional animation, like 2D especially, there's so much more focus. Why, why do I just use... <coughs> Wait, one more. <coughs> okay, I'm fine. Dude, why, what is wrong? What is wrong? Oh wait, I, I dusted the house like literally right before stream started. Maybe that's it. I'm good. Okay. So with traditional 2D animation, there's a lot more focus on like the characters, like close-ups of the face, the way their body moves. It's more exaggerated, right? So that's how a lot of characters you can see their personality from. Um, so the issue with the VFX sequences is since a lot of the character models, like the mermaids, you, you they only captured like the torso up, right? And then the rest was all animated. So you couldn't really see like the exaggerated nuances in their um, like body language. So it was a lot harder to tell their expression. My favorite sequence was the Unfortunate Souls sequence because it had a lot more close-up shots of Ursula. So you could easily tell. And she was also very expressive when she sang. Um, so yeah, that was my favorite sequence only for that reason. I like the surface sequences more because it was shot more traditionally, so it was a lot easier to like feel the emotions that the characters were feeling. I think my second favorite sequence is when she is first on land and the, her singing is like her internal dialogue. That was very creative. I thought that was a perfect way to um, render that sequence. You look like you're smiling even with a mask on? Yeah, because when I smile, like... <laughs> I'm allowed to say this, I'm Asian, API month is over. When I smile, my, I have like little, my uncle has them too, I have like little dime slot eyes. But it's because like my cheeks, my cheeks are so chubby, like, when I weighed less, it was less noticeable. But I think it's cute. Um, what is it? So, Little Mermaid movie was fine. It was fine. Oh, the worst part! The worst part was Prince Eric's song. It was so bad. I was drafting a joke in my head after I saw that scene. I was like, dead ass. This sounds like some nobody TikTok songwriter who's just monologuing and saying it's a song. That's... I was, dra I was drafting that joke for like two hours after we watched the movie, but I need to work on it. I was gonna tweet it, but I was like, ah, it's kind of too, too new. Um... A big concern that we had going into the movie was that it was too dark. But the underwater sequences weren't super dark as, like, they showed in the preview. So I think that was fine. Um, guys, we're a movie review channel now. Okay, so that was Saturday. I saw the Little Mermaid movie. And then Sunday, holy moly, I saw the new Spider-Verse. I am not a comics guy. I don't know any lore. I literally watched the first Spider-Verse movie on Saturday night. And <laughs> I bought it on YouTube. And I was watching it on my TV, and then my Wi-Fi crashed. So I had to hook up my laptop to my TV so I could, like, mirror the screen. And the issue when I mirror the screen 
is that there's a desync with the audio and the visuals. Like, instead of having like a 60 frame rate on the TV, it would play like a 30 frame rate. So, I watched the movie at like one and a half speed just to like have the frames and the audio sync. It was horrible, but because like I was watching with my sister, and I was like, "Why are the sequences so fast? Why are the fight scenes going so quickly?" And she's like, "This is one and a half speed," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? <clears throat> Everybody, clock in, clock in. We're chilling for a little bit. It's fine if you're late today. So I watched Spider Verse One on Saturday, and then Spider Verse Two Sunday morning. And I was blown away. Absolutely insane. Visually stunning. So memorable. I'll read off the tweet. Felt overall style was polished and took far more creative liberty than the first one. The character dynamics made me tear up as a non-superhero fan who knows no lore. That's huge. Actually huge. I went with my sister, my roommate, and then another friend. My friend was like tearing up. It was funny. <laughs> he was like crying in the theater. <laughs> oh, not me. I teared up. I did not shed a tear. Also, that's why I wear a mask in public. To protect myself, I'm disabled. But also, like, if I cry, then the mask, like, catches the tears. No one will know. Um. Visually stunning. Crazy. The action sequences went insane. The... It reminded me so much of, like, anime. Like, the way that the characters moved and the things that, like, the cameras were angled. Also, the first intro sequence... Um, with... Wait, should I say who? Mm -mm. I won't say who. But the intro sequence? Crazy. I was like, during the whole movie, I was like, dialed in the whole time. And I don't know any lore, so I don't know anything about these fucking characters. Um, Very good. Very excited. Please make a, a sequel, please. Please. Very good. 9 out of 10. I don't know what could have made it 10 out of 10. I feel like it would have been a 10 out of 10 experience if I would have known the actual characters more. But... It felt like a lot more emotionally heavy than the first one. But I feel like that's what sequels are meant to be. It's meant to like expand on the characters and shit. So very good. 10 out of 10. If you don't know the lore, just watch it. If you are artsy, you'll enjoy it. Why am I so old? <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Titans. 13 months, let's go! Can we get some... Whitens, welcome in, man. Thank you. Why are you so old? You're younger than me, man. Shut the fuck up. Okay, next. So that was my weekend. And then yesterday we did a sub-only stream and also my stationary bike arrived in the mail. So I assembled it last night. It took, <laughs> it took me an hour because, you know when you read instructions and then you... Maybe it's just me. You read instructions and... It's not that you don't follow them, you still try to find like a more efficient way to assemble it. So I had I put pieces on and then I had to take shit off because the way that screws were placed, it was kinda it was kinda off. But at, this bike was like the cheapest no-name bike you'll probably find on Amazon. <clears throat> but yeah, <laughs> I got short legs too, I feel you. Yeah, it's literally because I swear to god, I think my legs are different heights because this is on the lowest height setting, right? And I feel like my right leg is, like, a bit too long for the little setting, but my left leg is the perfect height. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crooked. It would take me 10 minutes to build. Okay, if I, if I would have done it on stream, I would have speedrun. I would have had my splits tab open. I would have had a timer on screen. But if I'm offline, you know, I take my time. You know, took me an hour. But... Because I used to bike, I used to bike, like, on my own, because we had, like, a biking trail near my parents' house. So I would bike, like, three miles every morning. But then once we moved, when I stopped biking, and then the area I live in now is way too hilly, so it's not safe to, like, bike on the sidewalks or on the roads. And there is a bike trail, but it's, like, five miles away. So it's like, I'm not gonna bike five miles to get to the trail and bike two more. You do spin classes? I want to take some kind of exercise class, but I'm too embarrassed. And what if, like, a piece in 17 fan sees me? Ew. <laughs> um, so I did, like, 30 minutes yesterday and then 30 minutes this morning already. Because I looked it up and apparently, like, 15 minutes is, like, beginner level. But I did, like, 
Because, like, for me, I try to do, can, like, continuous biking because I find it so much easier than, like, real biking. Because when you're actually biking, you have to, like, be worried about the other people on the trail, cars, trying not to, like, die. <laughs> but on the stationary bike, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, like, zoning out. I was watching a stream yesterday and then this morning I just listened to music um, as I cycled. I average, like, nine miles per hour at, like, middle resistance level i'm gonna increase the resistance as it goes on but i was surprised i thought i wouldn't be able to handle it but i think it's because i used to bike so much like six months ago i can handle it better now so you know peace i two fit arc my goal is to lose a million pounds everybody you think i could do it uh realistically mm. you know what's fucked up for somebody who's five two a healthy bmi is like weighing 120 pounds which is insane. I have never been 120. My lowest, I was like 145, but that's because I was skipping meals, and that's very bad. <clears throat> but my goal is, I am not going to leak my. I am not going to leak what my weight is, and nobody guess. This is not a guessing game. My goal, I don't have a timeline, this is just like, in general. My goal is to lose 30 pounds. I don't think that can happen with just the elliptical, but I feel like that I can lose 10 pounds by doing the elliptical, and then over time, I'll do more strength and then like, actually diet. So my goal is 30 pounds in a year. I'll give myself a year. Okay, let's play some Mario Kart, everybody! I love Mario Kart. Type 1 if you love Mario Kart. <laughs> No, I don't want to do time trials. I'm not a speedrunner. <clears throat> yeah, so that's my little catch-up. I did a lot this weekend. I did a lot more than I thought I did, actually. Let's start off with Link. Some of the normal praise. I'm warming up. You guys know the drill. Ask me anything. Also, I am not doing a competition today. This is just for the title. I'm I'm baiting. You know the drill. For once in my life, that never happened. <laughs> I was just gonna say, this is the easiest track of the game, and then I hit grass. Oopsie. I think next week, or maybe next week? Because I know chatters are recommending that I do ranking Mario Kart tracks tier list for a stream. I think I'll save that for either later this month or early July. Because I was gonna do it today, but I'm not gonna like- Fuck! Very tired. I woke up at 5 again. I don't know what the problem is. I think it's because ever since the um, daylight savings or skip ahead, it did- the sun rises at like 5.30 a.m. So it's always super bright in my bedroom. Cause I can't- I'm not allowed to put up a current rod, so I gotta find like a- a rod that won't damage the unit. So I think it's- I just naturally wake up, I don't know. If you do another ch cooking stream, would you ever do something with chicken? Maybe. I considered doing like TikTok lives where I just do regular meal prep, cause I cook basically every other morning. But then I thought about it and I was like, I don't be live all the time. But it seems like I do make a lot of sweet things whenever I do cooking streams. I think the only savory cooking stream I did was the... The ramen one. Oh, I still owe Chad a, a Dino Chicken Nuggy stream. So I guess that could count as chicken, right? I made the best chicken in my goddamn life the other day. You... 
You slice it. You can use slicer, but as you slice it, you bread it with um, flour and then seasoning. And then you pan sear it. And then you just douse it in sauce. The recipe said it was like a bacon cream sauce. And it tasted like marsala, but like bacony. And it was so good. I'm gonna have to make it again. <clears throat> more cooking streams regularly because you know we love educational content here but i don't want to like buy food oh my god this is way too fast i don't want to buy food that's just for stream because i feel like it's kind of wasteful but a series i've always wanted to do is like making cooking mama recipes so like playing the cooking mama game and then actually making the food i always thought that'd be a fun concept so either once, like, I live on my own, or I have more spending money, where I, like, I could afford to buy, like, specific ingredients to buy for one person, then I might start that series. Oh, I didn't hit. Do you cook for your roommates? Yes, I do. Since my sister pays for my share of expenses for right now, my duties are I cook, I clean, you know, I'm playing Treadwife right now. <laughs> you know, I like cooking. The only frustrating thing is that my roommate, not picky at all, will eat basically anything I make. My sister, complete opposite. She's so picky and it's aggravating. And with meal prep, um, it, when you go grocery shopping, it's very hard to, like, buy things for, like, a single serving. So it's not like you could buy, like, half a chicken breast or something. You gotta buy, like, five. I know they do sell, like, single serving portions at some stores, but it's not cost effective. So buying single portions is fine if you're living by yourself, but when you're living with, like, three or four people, it makes sense to, you know, buy the larger packages of things. But because of that, <clears throat> it's not that I overcook. Cause like, you know how when you make like a whole pot of soup, that's like food for today and then tomorrow. My sister, she refuses to eat the same food in a row. So she had chicken soup yesterday, she will not eat it today. So then I basically have to either like prep stuff in advance or make two types of food whenever I do meal prep now. And it's fine, it's just leading to more waste, and it's kind of annoying. I don't know, it's whatever, it's whatever, I'm just complaining. Cause like, I'm the type of person to where I can eat the same shit for every meal, cause food is food. As long as it tastes good, I don't care. Okay, nothing I could do. Do a little bit of trolling. What's my favorite thing to cook? Ooh. I love things that you can just pop in the oven. I am becoming a bigger fan of like stovetop cooking because I feel like the textures you can get with different cooking methods can drastically change, right? Based on like the technique and then also the ingredients you use. So I think my favorite is still like that pan seared chicken that's breaded. That's my new favorite. But I'm a sucker for soups. You know, you do veggie prep, you do meat prep, you toss it in the pot, leave it for a few hours, stir, and it's done. Soup is so good when you're cooking for a lot of people. Can you share a recipe with us? I don't... Mm, I don't, like, have any, like, family recipes, really. Because they're all from, like, family friends. Like, I don't have anything that's, like, Oh, my grandma's cookies! I don't have anything like that. Because... I feel like with most recipes you find online, you follow them for the most part, but you can still season however you like. The Peason Collection? Are you talking about Peason.myshopify.com? Wait, what? <laughs> I do want to get into baking. After watching Cutie Cinderella's Master Baker series, I want to bake so bad, but... 
it's not gonna be good. You know, I'm trying to lose weight. Ooh, I hate this turn at 200. <laughs> not the insta plug. You know, I gotta shill my shit when I can. Cause you guys saw the announcement from Twitch on updating the TOS concerning advertising, right? Like you can't, there's a limit to how big an overlay can be for like a logo. You can't have on display ads. You can't have embedded videos in your stream. It's not good. I was gonna say something on Twitter. What is this turn? But the issue with that type of policy change is that it's making Twitch the sole middleman for sponsorships on Twitch. Like, it can't be third party sponsors, most likely. It's gonna limit that. So they're trying to maximize how many actual companies pay for advertisements or sponsorships through Twitch specifically. So it's affecting you, the creator. You can't embed subway servers? No, you can! You just can't embed, like, a sponsored ad or, or an overlay. So, like, you ever go to a stream and they have, like, <clears throat> what looks like a one-inch square that says, Oh, buy this energy drink with code 69 420. That's not allowed anymore. So, it's gonna drastically impact people who rely on sponsorships for the majority of their income. It's gonna drive people away from the platform. Which is valid. It just, I think it's such, it proves the point that you can't just post on one platform. Um, guys, I'm switching to kick. <laughs> um, you can't have all your eggs in one basket. So if you are streaming, you should be posting clips. You should be making highlight videos because one platform should not be your only form of monetization and income. I know for me, the only platform that I get revenue from at this moment is Twitch. So I don't have a choice. I saw something about Kick paying its creators an hourly wage. Hmm. What would they pay you an hourly rate though? It's probably like... Not minimum. I wonder how that would work. Because what if I stream like a five day subathon? But I make 15 bucks an hour? I don't know. I feel like an hourly rate is something that you'd expect out of like, or something that'd be similar out of like a Twitch partnership where like if you stream 80 hours this month, you'll get a flat rate of this. It's probably something like that. <laughs> Yo, Isabel. What am I joining Team 10? <laughs> Never. I literally talk about- wait. Oh, yesterday was a sub only stream. I talked about yesterday how like I don't ever want to join like a content group. It just seems so disingenuous. I'm gonna do this one because I actually need to practice all these tracks. I hate most of these tracks, but I gotta do it. Should I make my own content org? Tab 1. I, I keep on forgetting to skip the little cutscenes. Team Peace. No! Come on! This doesn't feel like 200. Did I click 150 by accident? Oh wait, never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> it's been forever since I've played this track, okay? I'm, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. Fuck you, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I'm learning I need to not trick off that rail. Yeah, I'm gonna nail it. I was lined up to nail this S turn. See, like I nailed it that time. If I wouldn't have gotten hit, I would have been, I would have been smoking the competition. <laughs> I was looking at chat. I was looking. At I didn't see any of the Apple reveal because I will never buy an Apple product willingly. The only reason why I have an iPad and a MacBook Pro is because it came with my college package. Because it came with like a tech package, right? But I couldn't choose what brand of um, electronic to buy. I will never voluntarily choose an Apple product. They're so scum. We'll go easy. I'll take a third. I'll take it. I'll take it. The Apple Vision is not a VR headset. Uh oh. Is it like a augmented reality thing? Oh, you you just said it. It is AR. Okay. Yeah, it's just like Google Glass. You're you're just paying to see like TikTok filters but with glasses. It seems kind of DOM. You know what else is dumb? Not following the channel. Because we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we get some new follows? <clears throat> I think it's really cool though, not gonna lie. Dude, you are such a sucker. You're such a filthy consumer. That was a mistake. kind of sad about buying like tech and electronics is all I can think about is how much it costs to make said product like you'd be paying $1,000 for a new iPhone but how much profit does the company make because you know the labor they use costs nothing right like how much does the raw material cost Use the boom box. Easy. My bet is five dollars? Probably. Probably the biggest cost is like the manufacturing equipment. Because we talked about this yesterday, but when you make a product, you. You have to have the raw material, you have to have the labor, and then also the space to make said product. Oh my god, they're actually sniping. That in development time? Yeah, I agree with that. Dude, I'm lost. I was thinking about making a video, do it! Dude, this is looking like an online match. <laughs> if you were able to buy it, you wouldn't buy the first gen? I agree. Whenever there's like a new product, I always wait like a year before I buy it. That way, you know, they patch out all the little mistakes. And then by then, we'll know if there's like a new model coming out or not. 
Oh, I hate going this way! Oh, wait, that was cool? I didn't realize there was a boost up top. Rusty! Guys, I haven't played in a week. I should genuinely play like Mario Kart every day, like offline, to get good. Because, you know, I've been streaming, oh my god, for almost two years, and I'm still like... It's not that I'm bad, okay? I think I'm decent. But when I'm compared to, like, people who are good, I look really bad. I, I hear Blue Shun. Easy. No way I'm going backwards. losing on purpose. I swear to god. I, I promise. I'm... <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with me? It's because I always play tracks that I'm good at. I'm not good at most of these. Okay, I'm good at Big Blue. This one I'm good at. Should I come up with my own VR headset? Do you think it would pop off? Oh my god, I never fallen off there. Who are actually cracked at Mario Kart and they hit no walls, they don't fall off the track at all. And I watch and wonder, I'm like, how do they do this? It's magic, they're hacking. A lot of the tracks in this free, they're windy. So I basically have to hold my brake button nearly the whole time. Oh, I don't go down this path usually. Oh, I hate this path. This, this path is bad. Wait a minute, third? Hold? Wait? Wait? Actually good at the game? What are your movie theater snack needs? I usually don't have a snack at the theater. Because, like, I find it a little bit distracting, but one time I went with my sister and we got the curly fries at the AMC theater. Dude, so good. Like, fresh fried french fries will always be good, even if they're shitty. They'll be leagues above, like, a five-minute sitting fry. Okay, I'm gonna do a pre that I'm actually good at.
Oh my god, for the plays. Horrible. Also, look at all the topics I have. I still have my three cue cards. One thing that did annoy me like a teensy bit is when I went to the movies to see Spider-Man with my sister roommate and then a friend. My friend, he kept like leaning over and telling me like lore about the characters. He's like, oh yeah, this happened in this comic book and then this happens later on. And I'm just sitting there like, let me enjoy the movie. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say anything till after, but it's like, they kept on talking to me and it's like, I want to watch the movie. Let me watch the movie. But we were sitting in like the back back row, so hopefully and, like nobody heard us whispering. I remember there was one time I went to the theater when I was in like junior high. And it was with like six other junior high kids. And we were all like throwing candy at throwing candy at each other, like trying to get it down each other's shirts. <laughs> what movie did we even see? I think it was it was Frank and Weenie. That's the movie I saw. <laughs> Uh, we pissed off the theater workers, but you know, we're a bunch of like little shitty kids. I used to throw three paper balls into people's hair in middle school Dude actual jail time needs to be done I'm the type of person to where if I see a friend having something stuck in their teeth, I'll say something. But it's so awkward when you like, they have bad breath. Because it's like, how do you approach that conversation? Because when I was seeing the movie with either of my friend, he kept on leaning over and like whispering in my ear like, Oh, this happened and then this. But his breath stank. It stank so bad. And then after like the third time he'd said something to me like, I dug through my purse and I, I took out an Altoids and I just handed it to him. And <laughs> and then he was like, oh, my breath stinks, doesn't it? Embarrassing. <laughs> but it's like, I'm not gonna say that, hey, your breath fucking stinks, bro. So that is why I always carry a mini tin of Altoids wherever I go. Because <laughs> whenever I go out, I always make sure to like brush my teeth before. And then also, I, I, and then also I just have a regular Altoid because the sensation of having like the strong mint flavor in my mouth sometimes calms me down because such, it's such an intense flavor to where like if I'm getting anxious or kind of freaking out, I'm just like, oh, I have a little mint in my mouth. I would have eaten one and then be like, hey, do you want one too? I already had a mint in my mouth, so it would have looked silly if I put another one in. And I had my mask on. And I could smell his stinky ass breath through my mask. It was that bad. <laughs> I don't know. They, they weren't offended. They thought it was funny. Am I a bad friend? I will sing a song? Okay. After this race. I would have gone about it differently. Well, it's fine. Hopefully they don't... <laughs> Hopefully... Hopefully they don't remember that interaction. You know, it's fine. I don't know, I've only had to do that like a few times. And the other times were with my sister and she doesn't care. He's just like, okay, thank you for the mint. She doesn't, like, it doesn't register why I gave her the mint. Ooh, perfect. 
track. Whenever I play this track, like, I always think of Lemon in chat. Because there was one stream and they were like, Oh, I love Big Toad. Is he single? Like, I always- I remember the randomest, like, stream chat moments sometimes. And I think that's part of, like, the fun part of watching back VODs, because I'm like, Oh, that was a good bit! Or, like, sometimes if I miss a chat message, I'll be like, Oh, that chatter said something funny. I should have reacted. Lemon cracks me up. I know, I wish Lemon could watch this stream more. They were good chatter. Okay, I'll sing a song. Oh, which song should I sing? Let me find a song to sing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking up a song. I'm gonna try a new song that I haven't sung for you guys yet. I think I sang it on IG the other day. Because sometimes... <clears throat> I'll just sing and post it on my IG story for funsies. Make sure the volume is off. I'm still learning the vocalization for this one, the cadence. So chaz, if you want to see other singing clips, I have a playlist on YouTube. I can't. So this is Like I Want You by Givion. This is the final verse. <clears throat> I've been practicing, so it's not going to be crazy. But if you could... Put your favorite emotes and your favorite hype emotes in chat, that'd be great. <clears throat> I'm stalling. <clears throat> There's no reason to believe I'll save us now. But if you really love me, say it now. Why is it so hard to figure out? I need you every day, believe me when I say it. Like I want you. You. That's the only part I know. I did it slower than I should have. Oh, plus one! Thank you for the follow! Thank you! And there's no reason to believe I'll save us now But if you really love me, say it now Why is it so hard to figure out? I need you every day, believe me when I say it That was, that was a more accurate, like, pacing. It's hard because, like, there's sometimes because when I sing songs, I mimic. I don't, like, actually know how to fucking sing, so I just copy. So if somebody sings flat, then I sing flat. And, and Givion, a lot of his vocalization does go... Doo. So it, it's hard to copy sometimes. But thank you, Mint, for redeeming. I appreciate it. Hope you liked it. Well, thank you, Han. <laughs> you... It's so pretty sometimes. Thank you for the donation! I just got cash apped! Thank you! Which chatter did it? Who did it? Reveal yourself. Hashtag not sponsored by cash app. Oh dude, I hate this drag. Or have all my cold, my cold call DMs to Sugar Mamas actually work? 
<laughs> I get so many Dion's from like bigger mamas, but they're all bots. They're all fake. They're probably all trying to shill NFTs at the end of the day. But in the little clips of hope that I have, I'm like, actually, is this real? Will my dreams have finally come true? Oh, it was me. It's always a treat to hear you sing. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at chat. I'm looking at chat. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. Stop! He's actually stream sniping. Sorry, I'm really... <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna try hard now. But, Mint, you will get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you. I can buy... Like, five gumballs now. Okay, at least the computers are bad too. Shy guy just hit a wall. It's not like the computers are cracked. I think I need to play more scary games. Because whenever there's an item approaching or I get hit with something, I get so scared, like I jump. that I've gotten more, like, expressive. Like, I'm, like, moving a bit more on camera. Mainly because I think it's funny. Like, like, if there's a clip and I'm like, oh, no, it's hilarious to me. It's not that I do this in real life, mind you. When I, when I play offline, I'm just like, oh, I'm like, darn it. I don't, like, jump like this. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Because I think the approach I see with streaming now is I understand the argument that you should be try to try to be as genuine as you Okay. Let me reset. I think it's important for when you stream you try to be as genuine to yourself as you can. Like you can't be too much of a fake ass bitch. But I think some exaggeration is totally fine. Because ultimately streaming is entertainment, right? If you aren't being a little bit goofy, a little bit funny, then you're not entertaining in my opinion. I do understand the value of like more introverted creators, like, you know, some people like cozy vibes, but that's not the vibe I want anymore. Like, I want to be known as funny, question mark. I don't know. But I do feel like the slightly more extra personalities is more inviting to like a new viewer. Like, I do think the Mario Kart is the best stream for me in order to get more, you know, hype. Okay, clean. I don't think I've hit. I don't think I've hit a single wall. So it's not necessarily that I'm like being fake. It's just this is like an exaggeration of how I am normally. Because I have noticed in like my normal day to day, my friends have told me like, "Oh, you're like you have a streamer voice now when you tell stories to them," and it's hilarious. Like I've been on the phone with some people, like, "Hey, can you like?" Hold it down for a second. This is not like your stream. You can like tell the story normally, but I'm like, no, I'm trying to be funny. Okay, I think that was the cleanest race I've had all day. Coconut Mall is my track. Best track in the game. I still need to play Mario Kart Wii on stream. I don't ooh, I don't know if I'd ever play it though because it's motion controls. And motion controls is horrible. You know what else is horrible? Watching ads. Because chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or big or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and <laughs> hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Bye, Mint. <laughs> Peace out to you, yo. <laughs> yeah, I need some water. Dad, or see if you like your parents have an Amazon Prime account. Or see if any of your friends.
Okay, I think it's time for online races, everybody. Time for the real competition. I am super excited for summertime, though. Because me and my friends have been planning, like, a few weekend trips that we're gonna go on. Okay, online- online. Airport. If I get first, Jack gets a sub next week. I still owe you guys one sub from last week, too. I'm still waiting for my benefits to go through. I'm waiting. And it's so frustrating. I think I have to call to... No, I have to call Thursday. I, I wonder if they, like, back pay all the months you didn't get benefits. Because I applied in April. So theoretically, if I was in the system, I would have gotten benefits right away. So, I wonder if I would get back paid for April and May. That would be epic. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, is that Shaggy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was not quoting you, man. I saw it first. I did not steal your joke. If you can even call it a joke. Oh okay, yeah, I think... Fuck this track. If I would have gotten Sunshine Airport, I literally would have gotten first. I, I think I've gotten first 200cc Sunshine Airport before. Damn. I think the worst type of joke... Not calling out you, Mint. I'm just saying in general. My sister makes this type of joke all the time. But it's the joke where it's like, they see a character on screen, it looks like another character they know. And they're like, oh, is that so-and-so? Like, just the simple analogy comparison, I think it's the... Most unfunny thing you can. It's the most unfunny joke you can make. I'll be honest. Because that's like basic analysis. That's like entry level English 101. If you want to be making jokes that are like AP level, you gotta be making connections through analogies. Wait, fourth place? Hold? Hold? Damn, I have two blue shells. Or not blues, red. Yeah, I'm throwing. Dude, this track is crazy! Oh my god. Wait, I forgot this is online. I was like, this seems way too fast. I'm not doing too bad, though. Honestly. Okay, I'm not doing a skip. It's too risky. Wait, I might have a dub. Hold. Why'd you throw a red shell behind you? That's kind of silly. bike black but not me did i just dodge all the ink okay that wasn't too bad for a first race fourth i held third for almost the whole lap that wasn't too bad maybe i'm actually cracked no but generally i do better at 200 cc online than 150 which i think is for the better because since i finally had 7k majority of the lobbies are probably like the options are gonna be like 50 50 150 and then 200 so maybe I'm kind of good.
Also, I will try to do a Meg Esports tournament this month. I will try my best. Because a lot of the coursework for my final classes are easier. But I have to like submit all this paperwork because it's- I'm graduating on the 30th, right? So I have to like get all my paperwork and financial aid figured out. How much butter is enough butter on popcorn? Controversial! I am not too big a fan of popcorn. So if anything can- Muddy the flavor of actual popcorn? I'm all down for it. The only thing that's bad about putting more butter on your popcorn is how messy it is. Like, <laughs> if I had to eat popcorn in the theater, I'd probably use chopsticks. I'd be the weirdo <laughs> bringing chopsticks to the theater. Because that's how I eat normal chips, like potato chips with chopsticks. Just because, like, I don't like stuff on my fingers. Even now, like, if I eat fried chicken at home, sometimes I'll wear, like, latex gloves. Because I hate when my hands get oily. But, you know, my roommates haven't teased me yet about it, so that's a plus. Because, you know, I've decided... I'm an adult. I'm 24. I can do what I want. Nobody gives a shit. And also, I'm gonna live life to some degree in comfort. It's like... <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about everybody else's comfort. No way. I don't care if I get weird looks. the worst track ever made. Yeah, get, get him! Just clap everybody! Finally. This is my chance. Maybe I actually love this track. I don't know. Not bad. I do remember when I was little, my mom, she had this like three foot tall popcorn tin. It was branded Hello Kitty. And <laughs> I remember when we opened the tin, because she ordered it online, mainly to have like the Hello Kitty container. We opened it, and we thought the whole thing would be filled with popcorn. But it was a three foot tin, only like a foot of it was filled with popcorn. The rest was just cardboard and foam. We were so sad. And that... My mom bought that tin when I was like six, and it's been our rice container tin since I was six, so almost 20 years. Oh my god. <laughs> but you know, I feel like it's cliche for most every mom to just keep every container they get from the store. I've noticed I do that myself too. Like if it's a container like this big or smaller, I'll keep it. Just so I can more easily throw away like oil or meat drippings. Because if you dump your oil down the sink, bad. You're gonna fuck up your pipes. If you... Just pour oil into your trash bag. You're psycho. That's gonna be such a huge mess to clean later. <laughs> Talking about growing old... Ever since living on my own, I've noticed I have so many like little habits and little things that I do that are so reminiscent of like my mom. And it's not that it's a bad thing. 
it's just I feel like I've always naturally taken on like the mother role in any relationship like platonic wise like I'm a caretaker okay so like I'll keep containers I'm very nitpicky about like how the kitchen is and how like the house is clean and stuff you know motherly things quote unquote And like, you know the cliche story of like living in a house of like college age roommates and they trash the place and it's disgusting? I've never really had that problem, but I do feel like that would happen if I wasn't here to an extent. Cause like ever since we've moved in together, like we've been here six months, it's not my job to take out the trash, but none of the other bozos have done the trash at all. Like there's been days where like I'll leave the trash bin like basically overfilling to see if one of them will do it. Because they know what's their job, but they don't do it. You know, just to be petty. I don't know. That part, like, sometimes I think I can be kind of toxic. <laughs> not that it's, like, horrible. It's not like I'm gaslighting gatekeeping. It's just, I'll sometimes do things to test other people. Just to see, like, how they respond. Okay, I'm going for as good- Dude, I never get this fucking skip! Thank god! Skill issue? I know. I know! That banana was an industry plant. Wait, we gotta do predictions. I forgot. <laughs> okay, everybody go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first at all today? Surely. Any doubters? Uh oh. Why is everybody leaving? Uh oh. Uh, they saw my avatar and they got scared. Did you see the new Joy-Con colors? Yes! I saw them! I want them so bad. Because it's not like pastel is my aesthetic, but they are really cute. Like, you know the Animal Crossing Switch colors? I really wanted those Joy-Cons. Maybe I'll ask Santa this year for the pastel Joy-Cons. I was like, finally cute colors? Yeah, you would think. If they had a Sanrio Nintendo collab, dude, I'd be eating that shit up. my sisters. That's what I kind of don't like about the OLED model is that both the Joy-Cons are white. It just seems too clean. But I feel like Nintendo should be branded as like a fun console. Please don't do this to me! Wait, see? The clutch?
Lucia. Okay, hey, wait. I'm not doing too bad. Hold. can't have anything nice, can I? Do you know I don't know what is the better strat? Is it better to try to stay in top three or just stay in the middle and hope you get an item that boosts you ahead? Because anytime I get in top three, I always fall behind unless I'm in first, usually. Because even though the RNG for items typically when you're in first you get coins, I feel like I get really lucky most of the time. Like, the game is just itching to give me a dub sometimes. It's seen me play for an hour, and it's like, hey, we should toss this one a bone, otherwise they're gonna delete their game. The person in front of you has a star, the red shell won't target them. It did it twice. <laughs> Wait, the page in front of me is so happy, me just crying my eyes out. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll win the next one. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, DK Jungle, I for sure win. This is my best track. Not joking. Dream ends when I get first place. <laughs> I just think the stream ends title setup is so funny. Because I think it's hilarious when you go to like a channel. Yes! I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. I think it's hilarious when you go to a channel and they have like the same stream titles, like three in a row. Like, stream ends when I get my PB, or stream ends when I beat this challenge, and it's just three streams in a row. <laughs> like, it's obvious that it's a bit, but it, it's so funny. Okay, I'm trying. No talking. I'm winning for you guys. I wasn't even in the range. I didn't grow up playing any sports when I was younger. Like, we didn't have the money to do, like, extracurriculars or anything. Or, like, buy school equipment for sports through the schools. So I didn't grow up very competitive. Like, if there's ever time, like, I'm losing a game, like, right now in Mario Kart, I'm in 8th place. Wait, 7th? I don't get too upset, like, I do, like, exaggerate a little bit for stream, but if I'm playing on my own, like, at home or with friends, I don't, I don't pop off. The only time I get really competitive in a game that I've noticed is, like, playing cards. I don't know. I think because it's random. I mean, okay, there's tricks to card games, but it, in my head it's random. It feels so much more aggravating whenever I do lose. Because then I know in my head, like, I didn't have anything that could have improved this chance of me winning. That's why, like, out of all the Mario Party games, the random ones make me genuinely so mad. 
Because it makes me feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah, I'm wasting my time playing Mario Kart 2. There's an alternate universe where my main game was Valorant. <laughs> Dude, what would that look like? It would just be me saying slurs, obviously. In Valorant, of course. Dude, I think me not getting an item on the first item box fucked me. Wow, thank you, man. You're stealing from the board. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, I'm holding. Play fourth? Okay. Okay, from last to fourth isn't horrible. If this were any other track, I would have stayed in last, but since I'm decent at this track, that's why I caught up. I mean, it is random, but you play long enough, you learn how to deal with that scenario, so sometimes it is your fault. <laughs> Jeez! If we get Coconut Mall, I will win. This is in the, this is one of my top three. What is genuinely my top three tracks, though? DK Jungle, for sure. Sunshine Airport. And then Coconut Mall. I, I think those are my top three. I don't know why. I think maybe because I played them on the Wii, so subconsciously, I feel co more confident in them. Okay, Coconut Mall, I'm gonna win. No way I lose here. Guaranteed dub. Opposed to the idea of growing old. I know my grandma, my mom, and my aunt growing up, they all dyed their hair whenever they started graying. So I would see my grandma, and my, my grandpa would have like white, like full on white hair, and my grandma would have jet black hair. And it's so funny because for most of my childhood, she would always have the dyed hair. And she stopped dyeing it like five years ago. So when I was 20, so an adult. And I just think it's. I understand why people try to make themselves look like you're not aging, but I think aging is kind of a beautiful thing. It's kind of like showing that you've gone through life, you have those hardships, and that also you've made it that far, you know? Like, I don't know I should be taking care of my skin more, but I kind of like the blemishes or the scars that I have. I also don't mind I think wrinkles are kind of cool. Like the little creases you see around people's mouths or eyes. I think it's kind of cool. So I'm not sure if, if I'd ever dye my hair or, you know, get the facelifts if I grow older. As of right now, I don't think I will. Your mom dyes her hair, but she loves that she's aging. I guess that's the best of both worlds then. Okay, I kind of fell off. What happened? Stop hitting me! Yeah, my grandma got full-on jet black hair dye. <laughs> and then my mom, she would also dye her hair. She got, um, she'd always get, like, 
She has like medium brown hair, but she would get like blonde highlights in it. Nobody snitched, but it always looked horrible. It looked horrible. You know, I can't say shit. It's my mom. I've never dyed my hair. I have no real desire to either. I just think it's because it's like so much maintenance too. Oh wait, Deacon Jungle. Reset. Attempt number two. If I get this again, I will win. You know who else will be winning? The people who are following the channel. <laughs> because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. We already got one follow today. Can we hit our daily goal? Smile. Okay, Sweet Sweet Canyon is another one that I'm decent at. I've gotten first a few times playing this track. So this, this is doable. No! I should have held! Wait, I'm in first clip, clip, clip. Dude, they're literally hitting me. played this track and felt hungry but since I know this track so well like right now I'm sitting like looking at the environments and there's so many little sweets and goodies there's ice cream there's lollipops there's so much because whenever I play marker I, I don't look at the background so much and out of every snack that I can get from the store I always will choose something sweet it's bad I got a little sugar addiction Okay, unlucky. It grosses you out? No, it's cute. This reminds me, wait, what was the Wreck and Ralph? Didn't they literally race on a candy truck? Stop! I think it's also because I practiced at 200cc, so you don't have time to look around. the liquid is in the lake though like what is yellow it's hopefully not piss it's like apple juice surely oh now get the boom box thank you nintendo lemonade okay <laughs> That's what the little five-year-old down the street told me before he scanned me out of 20 bucks. No way! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I promise I'm good at this game. Maybe I shouldn't bike in the morning. Dude, my left foot is asleep. I saw this one post and it was saying the reason why some people sit like wide-legged or they take up a lot of space when they sit in a neutral position, it's like subconsciously grounding yourself. It's kind of like physically your body is taking more space so you can like subconsciously observe your environment a bit easier. And I was like, huh. But then, because I was swiping through the picture because it was like a, like a slideshow, right? And then it was saying, it's like something autistic people do. And I was like, oh no. I was like, not again. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Um, for context, my sister's on the spectrum, so I show some signs, but it's not like 
it's not at a point where it's justifiable for me to like get further testing done. Wait, I'm in first hole? And like looking at like my parents, they show signs too, so I'm like, uh-oh. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I hate TikTok too, but you know, gotta love it. Hate to love it. Oh, come on, I wanted them to fall off. Yeah, I do agree that it would give me some clarity, but I'm kind of at a point where, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, is adding one more diagnosis on my belt really gonna help? Fuck you. <laughs> I just wanted to be petty. Oh, of course. Of course! Karma. Instant karma. That's what I get, honestly. I, I deserve that. I can't see shit. This is the worst track to not be able to see anything on. Third baby. Not bad. I was doing pretty well that whole race. I mean, the main reason why I don't want to pursue, like, testing or evaluations is because, like, I've seen my sister go through it as an adult because she had to get re-diagnosed. So. And. Obviously, my symptoms aren't as... Noticeable is not the right word, but she has, like, more trouble, I guess, managing day-to-day -day tasks than I do. Because of her diagnosis. So it's like... If she isn't eligible for, like, government assistance or any form of help, then it's like, what's the point? Because, like, she had a job coach, so it's like people specifically hired to help you find jobs as someone with disabilities. And she had had access to those programs, which is cool. So it would just be for, like... I guess confirming any underlying feelings I have, but it's kind of like, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to see more doctors if I don't have to. Ooh, big blue weight. This one might actually be good. So many UK racers. Oh yeah, because it's their bedtime almost. Yeah, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Surely. Devastating seeing me go from third to last. If there is a hell, then this is it. Now, what would my personal hell be? Like, honestly. Just me getting <laughs> Bowser City over and over. Working retail? No, I think retail is kind of fun. I mean, I only did food service, but I think retail is something that I can handle. Hell is supposed to be while you're living? Oh no! Is that why I'm so sad? No, I think it would be like doing landscaping work. Like having to work in the sun, I think is inhumane, like genuinely. Shout out to all the people who work for the city or who are landscapers. Y'all are real ones. Salmon? 
Oh man, getting rejected all the time. Ooh, I agree, that's horrible. The only door-to-door -door salesmen I get are like people trying to make me go to church. And I'm like, nah, dude. I think the main reason why door-to-door -door salesmen declined was due to the easy access to the television. Because you know how they have channels dedicated just to sell you shit? So it's like you can buy things from the comfort of your couch versus answering the door having some <laughs> salary men shill you a product. I don't think I've ever gotten like a child knocking on the door. Cause you know how they have those school fundraisers? They're like, if you make $200 in donations, you get a giant inflatable pool floaty. I have never gotten one of those. No, I don't think I've gotten Girl Scouts. I don't think Girl Scouts are allowed to go door to door. I don't know. I only see them like on tables. Okay, worst track, hands down worst track. This is Z tier. All those school fundraising companies, are they for profit? I've always wondered about that. Like, dude, generally all the profits and proceeds go towards the school or organization? Or do the manufacturers, like, keep a cut? Because, like, I've never liked the idea of school fundraisers, like the ones where, like, ooh, sell some cookie dough and you can get a very cool prize. And it'll always be, like, the shittiest prizes, too. You get, like, slime or colored pencils or, like, a little light-up toy. And I remember... They would have the spokespeople come in to the assembly room and like throw t-shirts into the <laughs> to all the kids. I never participated in those um, fundraisers because all of my family and friends were brokies, so it's not like I could beg my mom to buy a hundred tubs of cookie dough. But it's like, why not think of programs that actually are like hosted by the school PTA to fundraise? I mean, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense, because not all parents or family members would want to go to, like, a school event. I don't know. I just think the government should fund the schools more, then that would just solve the problem, right? Right? Oh, I was not looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, no. God damn. I could have clutched there, too. I'm done. It, it's over. dub today. I will. I will not let the doubters win another day. And it doesn't even matter because we didn't have any anybody doubt anyway. A smaller lobby, my odds are increased. And now they're zero, because it's Boo Link. Whenever I go 
grocery shopping, one little fun thing I like to think to myself is if I only were allowed to buy one thing from the store, what would I get? And I think one of the most versatile food items are eggs. Like, you can make it into a sweet by whipping, like, you know, egg whites. You can make it into something savory, like just normal ass eggs. You can use it in baking. So if I had to utilize whatever was already in my kitchen, and I only had like five bucks to buy one thing from the shop, I would always choose eggs. Yeah, rice is a good solid option too, to like, eat only one thing of. But rice is too heavy. I can guzzle down rice by the spoonfuls, but I know I shouldn't. And if I had to have like one meal for the rest of my life, I would have to say soup. But soup can be anything. It could be thin, it could be thick, it can be veggies, it can be cheese. You can put literally anything in soup. has fallen off. <laughs> They're like leagues behind. Oh no. If I were poor, I'm gonna get foods that fill me up. Yeah, rice is good for poor people. I ate a lot of rice when I was younger. If I get DK Jungle again, I will win. I think that's the only way I'm gonna win today. Ooh, wait. Riverside Park is good. I'm pretty good at Riverside. You know what else is a pretty good recipe? If you guys like sushi, you can try make, um, it's baked sushi rice, but you make rice as normal, and then you put it into, like, a 9x13 layer, like, a mixture of mayo, seasoning, shoyu, and then imitation crab or fish, like, shred it up, and it's really good. You can just eat it out of the tray, or you gotta bake it. Like, just to broil it. Maybe you can put a little bit of cheese on top, too. Maybe you can just eat it straight out of the tray. Like, with seaweed. I would make it, but it doesn't keep well. It's kind of like deconstructed sushi. I mean, that's what they would try to call it at, like, a fusion place. <laughs> Ooh, mirror mode! Ooh! Don't trip me up, but this one it is. Okay, I think the best path is to go to the blue one. That way you get a parachute. Wait, can I make a cut here? Oh, I almost made it! Wait, Megan skip? I mean Beast and Skip? Yeah, it's gonna be near impossible to catch up now. Unless. The only thing I don't really like about my current college, or not not the classes, but just like the professional art scene, is that you have to have like a portfolio website, and that's fine and all, but that's the main reason why I try to avoid having my first and last name for my Twitch stuff, because I don't want no potential employer to search my name. And, you know, see the Twitch channel. <laughs> like, I've, I've minimized how much I say or use my first name here. 
I still do use my first name on the art website on Exclamation Shop and Chat. But you know, if they find the art website, that's fine. Because you know, then they, they would see paintings and be like, wow, she made a website herself. Smile. <laughs> and then they see you talking about mermaid tops or bottoms. No, they would have to dig to find those clips. Don't worry. Not <laughs> that would not be the first thing they would see. That's also why I've been trying to keep my tweets a little bit more tame. <laughs> Another reason why I don't let I don't let Chet um draft out tweets or like make me post a draft because a lot of my drafts were like so degen. I did not lie about them being wiped. They actually got deleted by the app. I would never lie about that. And also, I don't think you should ever have your first and last name public online anyway. Because, like, there's so many, like, crazy people. And especially, like, you've seen it on TikTok and Twitter. That, like, they will, like, find anybody who does something that isn't horrible. Like, they will D-O-X, like, anybody. So it's kind of like, everybody, be careful what you post online. Be mindful of what you're saying. And also, try to keep your information as private as you can. We need to search the Twitter archives. Yeah, we need to go protest at the HQ. Get Peason underscore 17's drafts back. I mean, even if you delete something, there's always got to be a way for people to find it. I don't think I've ever, like, deleted a tweet. Can you archive tweets once you post them? I know on Instagram you can archive posts. That way they're still, like... They're essentially like private posts. Because even when I was younger, like in middle school and high school, I didn't post anything private. The only thing I posted was like a high school graduation pic, but you couldn't like see what the school was or anything. You can only really see the colors. But I still archived it. Because like the way I see like withholding information online is that yeah there will be some people who will take the extra steps to find certain information but i will still do everything i can to minimize what's easily accessible damn everybody got a star not fair <laughs> got him Feeling a little bit evil. Whoa. I glitched. Come on, I can do it. I I still got ten minutes. I got ten minutes to get a first. I can do it. I'll do a rainbow road just to be chaotic.
this is another track I'm good at. This one might be a clutch. Oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed since moving out is that I'll just spontaneously deep clean sometimes. Like when we first moved in, I had to deep clean the kitchen and then not fully deep clean, but heavily clean the bathrooms. But some days I'll be like, oh, I should probably scrub down the fridge. Or I should all clean out the freezer today. And I think it's because now that we're on our own, like we have basically full control of our living space. So it's not like I have to worry about like somebody like teasing me for cleaning like my parents would. And I think it's also because I want to try and create as clean of a space I can. Because like I lived in a cluttered house and I don't want it to get to that point again. parents to where they would nag me all the time for not doing my chores but then the moment I would take the initiative to do my chores or do them early they would be like oh you're finally doing it huh and it's just like that type of mentality wasn't helpful that's why like I don't I don't have the belief that anybody can be a perfect parent but you should still be mindful of what little interactions you have with your kids Oh my god, stop! What are they doing? Psycho throwing fire behind them. Clusterfuck at the end. I have six minutes. Surely I can beat it. I don't like any of these. They're all bad. They all want to make me go home cry, Dad. CC Rainbow Road could be really good for me because this is one of the easier ones. Or really bad. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god. No! Okay. It's fine. Everybody's falling off. Everybody fell off. Everybody's getting ratioed. Wow, the worst track to get- I literally have four mushrooms in my inventory. Or you blend. Wait, saved it? Wait, maybe I'm correct? Dude, literally everybody's falling off. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. Oh my god. 
Take me to burst. Take me to burst. I think that's the first time we've seen Peach Happy in like five races. Hi Jacob, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I was touching grass? Good. That's what we told you to do. <laughs> my only concern about getting the stationary bike is that like i'm gonna go out on walks less so like physically going outside less for exercise that's my only concern like i still gotta figure out the best schedule like i might walk to warm up and then bike or walk wait a few hours and then bike i gotta figure it out standard for like high schoolers or middle schoolers to be kind of like mean to teachers but looking back not that i was like mean okay i would i never like played smart ass with my teachers but like just looking at how other teachers like how are looking at other students and how rude they were i wish i would have like said something because there would be some students who would like dead ass like bully the teachers like, right in front of them, too. Like, they would talk bad shit. And I was kind of a goody-good when I was in school, so I was not a snitch. But I wish I would have, like, called out students, like, individually if they were, like, being too mean. Like, I remember there was one time I was in a Spanish class, and my partner, for an assignment, like, she was... Like, we were sitting right by the teacher's desk. And she was like, oh, yeah, this teacher... They have such beady little eyes. It's creepy. And like, she was saying loud enough for the teacher to hear. And it's just like, bro, why are you saying this shit? It's not, you're supposed to bully the other kids, not the fucking teachers. Because I think teachers are one of the few figures to where they have to, they have to maintain composure. Because, you know, they are the, the people that kids spend the most time with when they're younger, they have to be good role model figures. And I feel like that's something that a lot of young people or people who go into teaching don't realize. Like, it's, you have to be very strong in order to take any, like, slack you get from staff members or the actual students. Because, like, I've always liked the idea of being a teacher. Like, that was one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. But once I entered middle school, I was like, I don't, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Like, some kids are too mean. Oh my god, hi, Sinisters. Welcome in. Okay, chatters. I'm sorry to say this, but... It did not happen today. I did not get a win. 
I was too focused on telling my little stories. Next week, I'll get a dub. Surely. You know what else I gotta do? Run some ads. Because we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for food with Prime. After the ad, we will be switching to Cozy Grove. So don't worry if you have to watch an ad. It's gonna take me like three minutes to set it up anyway. Used to mentor people, but they were starting college or starting college. Yeah, I feel like working with like late high schoolers is good. Because by that point, they're like kind of a bit more mature. And they kind of like understand the importance of like tutoring or school. I don't know. I just feel like middle schoolers are such, such like shitheads. Dude, I'm getting so many fucking LinkedIn emails. I hate it. I hate it. It's like, no, I don't want to make some fake-ass profile to make me seem like a super sophisticated worker. It's so D.O.M. Okay, I'll switch to the game. What should I title the stream? What is something good for Cozy Grove? Something funny. Besides you, hmm. I have to set up the audio. Hmm. Topical title. New title, new title. Peason is a hero? Yes, sir. You heard it here first. Peason hero arc begins today. Every spirit is struggling with something, but it may take them a while to open up about it. Speak with Ranger Charlotte if you're stuck seeking a hidden item. Some resources like fruit bearing trees can only be harvested when they are colored. Why does this game- I say this every time, why does it take so long to load? I feel like loading screens should be non-existent in modern gaming. Chain lamps together in order to spread color to new areas of the world. I live! Because the Switch sucks? No, I mean not just on the Switch, I mean like just in general. Oh wait, did I have more shit on the ground? Uh oh. Uh oh. Didn't I have like a bunch of things on the ground last week? Uh oh. Oh wait, we have a little duck now! Duck nest home for a duckling. Oh, it's a decoration. Oh my god! He's walking around! He looks so happy! Look at him! Oh, is he following me? Cute. Oh my god. 
Can we take them all? I guess he's gonna be my little buddy. Look at him! He look- when he runs, he's- he looks so happy! Oh my god, I can't- I didn't think it would follow me! Oh my god, I can't! I wish I had a DS when I was younger. I feel like I'd be so much cooler. Okay, let's see what I need to do. Okay, it says I can donate this egg. Ooh, it's a deviled egg. Tee hee. You know, I want to have the memories of eating the little stylus, too. Did you buy the screen section or the keyboard? <laughs> oh, I know it didn't have a keyboard, but you know what I mean. The touchpad, that's it. You know Nintendo has like the, the bitter coating on the cartridges? They should have put it on the stylus. I think I'm out of skipping stones. Yeah, I'm out. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. You chewed on the screen? Dude, you're just as bad as potato because they chew on their phone. What is you know, I chewed on the normal things like the Barbie hands and the Polly Pocket clothes. I never chewed on tech. I remember I went on a camping trip with- it was our family and then my mom's friend's family. And one of her sons brought like his... What was it called? It was like the little handheld game thing. It was silver. What was it called? And I remember he was just playing it with the whole time we were camping. Dude, I know what it's called. PSP? I think that's what it is. PSP. How many times did you throw your DS, Mint? Confess now. If it was less than five, then you're redeemable. Started on missions. I don't think I ever threw anything when I was a child. Because I understand there's research that shows that a lot of anger management issues is um, learned behavior, and then there's also like some inherent like genetic factors, and then there's also like to be a reaction to trauma. So I was lucky. I didn't have any. Uh, role models who acted violently, so I didn't act violently myself. Um, so I was lucky. I was just really sad. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait. The only thing I did hit was like the computer. Like, you, I had one of those, you know, the cream colored box ones. My dad would hit it to make it work. So, yes, I did learn that from him. But otherwise, I never was violent with anything I owned. Which, I'm kinda good. They- they raised me right in that way. 
I mean, don't think that if you have like anger management issues like currently or as a child that you're it's wrong. It's something that you could learn to overcome or learn to live with. So don't feel like you're a bad person. It's not your fault. Okay? Let's go back to the game. Fun times. Okay, Captain Bill Weather Snout. It isn't easy, is it? Being stranded here, no hope of rescue, with not but spirits for company. Yeah, the struggle is real, I guess. No doubt, young sailor, no doubt. Patience, patience is the greatest challenge. In life, only one thing held me through the long stretches of gray. A mug of grog. Oh my god, he's an alcoholic. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here. Grog mug. Help other spirits and you'll get this in return. You may have to help multiple times and wait several days, so be patient. Oh, so I have to do other missions before I get the mug. That's kind of D-Lang. Sad. Damn, damn, damn. Well, these are new bugs. Oh wait, it's a new month. It's June now. When was the last time I played? Yeah, okay, less than a week or more than a week. So I guess there are seasonal bugs. A tasty scuttler. A discount paste beetle. A chubby grubby. <laughs> when are we streams coming back? Soon. Soon. Whenever I run out of um, one off Switch games to play, which I think I only have one more Switch game that I bought. So soon. It's mainly because, like, it's such a hassle. Because since I have to, like, use all the same cords that I use to connect the Switch to the Wii U. And it's just annoying. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. Like, if I had, like, an extra capture card just so I could leave everything set up, then it would be fine. But I know that's not cost effective. Yeah, I did get Wii Music as well. What? Oh, surely I'll do Wii Streams again. Don't worry, don't worry. I would never lie. Francesca Ducla. Those imps have been rooting around in the underbrush again. Where did they come from? What do they want? I can often gain knowledge by consulting my friend's leaves, but I've learned nothing about the imps. Anyway, the imps have stolen some branches from me yet again. Can you retrieve them for me? Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, it's a specific type of branch. That's not cool. A twig grub! <laughs> if I were to get a 3DS, would I be able to play games on it? Because didn't the shop close? <laughs> Draftbury Gruffle. Huh. I see that I'm back to being blue and transparent. It's like wearing a neon sign that says, Look at Jeremy Gruffle. 
He really messed up his life. Makes me mad. Burning mad. So mad that I can melt iron. Okay, so I need to make iron ore. <laughs> you buy physical. No, buying physical is expensive in DOM. It's literally so easy. <laughs> Dude, Mac, why are you such a hater? <laughs> you don't have to be a dumb dumb to mess it up. Look at me. Do I look smart? <laughs> uh... <laughs> so let's see. I need some iron ore. Which I don't have. Oh yeah, I don't have iron. Do I need to water these trees? They're dead. Charlotte Pine. I've seen you digging out there, camper. Not to knock Jeremy, but the shovel he gave you seems a bit... flimsy. He never had proper wilderness training. Doesn't know how to reinforce a tool with spirit. How to do what now? Don't be embarrassed. A lot of scouts never learned that skill. Luckily, I'm an old hand at it. Here's a list of ingredients. Bring them to me, and I'll make you a shovel that you can dig a latrine in seconds flat. No rush, of course. I've got a whole pot of tea to drink. Okay, I need a wooden shovel and then a charred fish bone. Ooh, I can do that. Burn some fish. like you brought everything well done now let's see a little ranger know-how a little ghostly misdirection and now your shovel is certified pro it can dig deeper and go longer without breaking remember scout take care of your tools let's go yeah i don't know if i'd ever stream like ds gameplay like it would just be for my own i guess personal enjoyment because i do love how the switch has like handheld modes But I have noticed since I typically play Switch games for stream, I don't play offline as much anymore. Like, I still need to game... I, I still need to find a game to play offline. Well, now I can dig these up finally. Oh no, my storage is full. I think. I don't know if I had more things on the ground last week, so you know what? I'm just gonna drop more things off here. I'm a hoarder. Oh, I have no clue what this is. I think I'm just gonna keep all raw materials at base. Oh, I do have an iron ore. Okay. I wasn't sure if I did or not. I 
I don't know what Chaplin is, and that sounds like a D's Nuts debate. So no, I will not play Chaplin. <laughs> hey, who knew that ghostly rage burns hot enough to power a furnace? Now we can make ingots! It's just frustrating. I thought sharing those tools with you would clear my name and set me free. I was such a careful maker when I was alive. And now that I'm a ghost, I so I must have left something unfinished. What was it? That is like one of my bigger fears for like the inevitable like death is like having things that I either haven't told somebody or feeling that I didn't treat them as well as I could have. That's why, like, I do goof and gaff, but I, I try to be as nice as I can. mushroom go um it's gone the existential crisis stream i mean this is the game that is replacing animal crossing so you know we got to do something to bring back those vibes Did you ever pay off your loans? No. My student debt is like 25k. And like... Oh, he loves me! You. And when I was in school, like I was working for like the first few years I was enrolled. So I would pay off like a few hundred dollars every month. So... If I didn't pay off any student loan debts at all, I would be... I would st I would owe 30k I think, but I owe 25 and hopefully the Dems do something to just wipe it all clean, you know? They've been stalling student debt relief long enough, so if we can stall it for almost three years, then I think they could just wipe it. It's not like the government needs that money. Take the money from the rich, you know? We love that. So I'm gonna have to start repaying in December. 200 a month, which is fine it's just like i don't know i mean i'll see what happens <laughs> you're gonna need to do a lot of streams <laughs> yeah exactly i'm gonna need to sell like wait if i sell two paintings a month then i'd be in the clear that's why chatters i need to get clouded by december that is our goal I need you guys to follow, like, subscribe. <laughs> They're coming for me as well. Oh no. I mean, I know there's different like repayment plans you can have. The the one that I'm opting in for is the 10 year plan, like a mortgage. Like you can do a, ex an extended plan. You can do an expedited plan. Always pay off your unsubsidized loans first because those um, are the ones that garner interest while you're in school, so pay off those first. I don't know. It's just like... It would be a bummer. It would be a bummer if any disability benefits I earn would just go towards student debt. That it's just like, it would just be the government paying itself back. It's, it's stupid. It's Hopefully, Peace In gets a real job. I don't know. We'll see. Allison Fisher. I saw an adorable ghost bird wandering through town the other day. The poor thing was hungry. I didn't have anyone to I didn't have anyone to care for it. Unfortunately, I have no idea what ghost animals eat. But I'm an expert in baking positivity. 
So using my baker's intuition, I've compiled a list of high potential animal treats. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing, that's what. Okay, I need mixed greens and salt, which I can buy from the shop. You need to upgrade Mr. Kid's store to carry more items. Oh, okay. How do I upgrade his shop? Oh, wait, you were talking about Animal Crossing loans? <laughs> um, yes, I, I easily pay off my Animal Crossing loans. It's like the first thing I do, because I hate being in debt. Hi, Lemon. We were talking about you earlier. We were talking mad shit. Okay, I can't buy salt. What? Oh, I need to upgrade his shop first before he sells more stuff. How do I upgrade it though? Hmm, peace out too? Hmm. Patrice Freback. I woke up in the middle of the night with that soccer ball on my chest. It was heavy. So heavy it hurt. But if it rolled off, it would crash to the floor. Wake up my wife. So I let it sit there. Yep, it's gonna be one of those days. But I can't complain. I deserve everything I'm going through after all. Oh, a couple unclean packages showed up. Usually I sort them and figure out where they should be headed. Not today. Today I'm just gonna give them to you. Oh, he's sad. What happened? He's feeling sad. Also, when I walked up to him, he was fully colored. Which is interesting. He's I too. Hmm. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone. Now I'm gonna search. <laughs> what are you guys smiling for, huh? I'm surprised not many of you guys are using PSA2 Pride. It is Pride Month after all. Thank you for the gifted sub, Mac. To Lemon? You're too kind. Thank you, Mac. Can we get some wax in chat? Thank you, hon. Are you will get your name written at the end of stream. Thank you, Mac. And that is your first gifted sub of the month, so you should have gotten some bonus channel points. Thank you, Mac. Guys, can we get to a million gifted subs today? Punches? No, let's not. Let's no. That is not the intended use of Peace I 2 Pride. Guys, come on! <laughs> oh no. My patience is rewarded. 
with liquid patience. Oh. Oh, he's drunk. Uh-oh, is he gonna try and riz us up? Thank you, Max. <laughs> Ye refined <laughs> friend, help me drown my trouble so. Though in my <laughs> experience, trouble doesn't stay beneath the waves for long. Dude, he's a drunk. Oh no, we're enabling him. I'm an enabler. Yes, gay is good. cook with the bugs. That go crazy. You know what also go crazy? If you follow the channel, because we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and the ability to type in chat. Can we hit our daily follow goal today? gonna follow me for because I bet it's gonna get annoying it's like get some real friends man we form our logs The duck is a good friend. I just met them today, though. This is why you should not, like, take animals from the wild. It's because they get bonded with humans, and then they can't reintegrate back into the wild. It's horrible. The duck is totally a cancer? I thought you meant, like, a leech? Like, somebody was leeching off me, and I got really sad. I was like, oh no! I'm supposed to be the mom! You said the duck has kids. <laughs> I mean, if that's true, then he can hang out as much as he wants. That's fine. Your dog owns the house? If I had pets, I would probably let them do what they want to. To an extent. You know, my house is their house. <laughs> Let's check my mail. Man, I get so much mail every day, Tim. There we go, Scoutaloo. I'm not the sort to become alarmed, but we found bits of little boat wrecked on the shore. It looked a lot like your boat. <laughs> Adventure, am I right? Don't worry, if you're lost for too long, we'll come to get you. Almost certainly. From Scoutmaster Blake. Quack, quack. <laughs> Yours truly, quack. A golden egg? Ooh. Oh, my inventory's full. Shit. I can't do anything in this town.
Okay, I think I'm just gonna sell all my fish. I think I should keep any crops I get. Can we name the duck? Yeah, of course, go for it. It's gonna be hard to find the collard greens for the bakery lady because the environments are green. Coconut? You guys are really gonna name this little guy Coconut? Oh, wait, look when I dash. Look at him. He's, he's sweating up a storm. <laughs> he's like, wait up, mother. Coconut chicken sounds good. You know what is the best form of shrimp? After the shrimp from Panda Express. It's coconut shrimp. It's so gimmicky, but it's sweet. It's delicious. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna find these mixed greens. It doesn't give me a hint on how to find them. Okay, one of the hints said the branch is near a cozy grove sign. Maybe I could just buy hints. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. I'm just gonna buy the hints. I don't care. I'm rich. Oh, the little ghouls show me. released a statement eight minutes ago should i check it uh -oh. what was it uh oh oh mac you know the rules you know the rules <laughs> it's about the ad thing are they retracting it 
I talked about it earlier, but it's it's kind of BS. It's only gonna push individual creators away from the platform. It's gonna hurt viewership too. Are they renagging? Talking about if I die, I'm gonna have regrets. I'm I'm the streamer. <laughs> I can trauma dump. I'm allowed. Okay, might as well just instead of looking aimlessly, I'll just follow the little ghouls. I don't mind paying a hundred bucks. Okay, you brought me in a, in a literal circle. Oh, I have to catch them. Okay, I don't have to follow them. There are no hidden objects around. What? Mixed greens. How do I find mixed greens? Okay, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll get them from Francesca. Why did the imp take our branches? I saw shapes scratched in the dirt. Spirals and eyes and jagged mouths. I wonder, are the imps capable of art? It doesn't matter. Self-expression is no excuse for stealing from a tree. No. Are we a goody two-shoes or a debate Andy? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be like, I need to admit fault. I mean, I've been collecting a lot of spirit logs, so I'm not sure. Oh, but that's different, isn't it? Spirit logs are hewn from the great tree of death. Its branches are endless and never expanding. So it's harmless to collect them. I think. Well, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that the branches are returned. Dude, she's such a snob. They say we miss the most. <laughs> Dude, I wonder sometimes. Cause like I'm part of like I get access to some beta Twitch functions like UI wise for like streaming and stuff. I've opted into the survey program to where they will have you test out stuff with a person like in a in a call. And it's cool. All the staff on the survey team, great. They've all been super nice. But like and they're like receptive to the recommendations I make, but like, <laughs> the it seems like every other department is fucked. <laughs> like, they just need to talk to more people. It's almost like the, the thing I think is happening is like they're talking to only the higher ups and like, you know, the executives, investors. They're probably not talking to as many actual creators as they should be. Dude, I can't break- I'm gonna look at that tweet after stream. We'll do a live reaction during the sub-only stream later. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Some of the decisions they make. Because it's classic prioritizing profit. Over user base. And creators. I know it's very easy to minimize the voice of a creator from a business standpoint, but ultimately when you are a platform, so any social media platform, if creators don't make content, then you lose a huge portion of your daily user base. Like nobody is logging onto Twitter to read the executive of Apple's tweets. That's not what they're doing. They're logging in to see funny memes and updates about probably their favorite personalities. That's why if we unionize- No. <laughs> That'll never happen. Guys, I work for Amazon.
delicious. Only three more logs before I'm full. Apple did have like crazy announcement. I know, looking back, that was not the best example, okay? But okay, nobody is looking at what the CEO of McDonald's is tweeting. Okay, that would have been a better example. How do I upgrade his shop? Oh, expand the shop. <laughs> it's right there. Take my money. Yeah, let me invest in your small business. Give you a small loan of 10k. So you can make me buy more shit. My arm feels funny. Lift up your arms. Oh wait, what did he say? Shit. Did he say check back tomorrow? Oh no! I'm temporarily closed and restocking my wares. Come back later. Uh oh. Can I- can I still sell things? Oh, I can still sell. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, so then that means I can't buy anything until next time. Where are the mixed greens? Still searching. What I need is out there somewhere. Check your quest log for a hint if you're really stuck. Or go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. Okay, it's not giving me any hints though. Look, it's literally... Usually it gives me a hint on where stuff is, but there's literally no hint. This is scam. She's actually scamming. I don't think I picked up the mixed greens naturally. There's currently no hidden objects around. Yeah, where did I get the mixed greens? I'm clueless. I'm gonna look it up. Let's see, cozy grow. Mixed greens. Oh, okay, mixed greens can be obtained by cutting down shrubbery with machete. I literally would have never figured that out. <laughs> okay, good thing I looked at I would have just kept looking and running, but it's not just laying out and about. Got it. You be collard greens? No. The most, like, green I will eat will be, like, spinach or kale. Anything other than that is kind of, like, pushing it. Okay, how do I use the machete? veggies are mixed in or hidden into food. I personally like that. Because, like, I can't eat and I can't sit and eat a whole plate of greens. I can't do it. It's not for me. Oh! The duck ran off. He looked excited about something. Okay, how do I use this fucking machete?
Because usually if I can interact with an item, an A icon will pop up. But nothing's popping up. Maybe my machete is too weak? When is the donut stream? Um, next year. I'll do it, and I'll make actual donuts from scratch next year. Oh, is this a shrub? No. How do I... Okay, I'm looking up how to use the machete. Because apparently I'm not doing it right. Watches as Pete's forgets the donut day date every year. Come on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Oh, okay, the shrubber? Okay, the shrubs? I saw one. It's these things. I, these are the shrubs. These bushes aren't choppable. Those are just decoration. These are the shrubs. Okay, I got it now. Whoa, that's a lot! Holy! Okay, I'm good. This is why I look shit up. I don't like feeling lost. Wait, shatters. What if instead of doing a meet and greet at a cheesecake factory? We all just, like, ravished a buffet. <laughs> like, we see if we can wipe out their whole inventory. <laughs> 24 hour buffet challenge! Would they, like, kick you out? I wonder. Oh, I still need more greens. I didn't chop them all. Now, if I were to participate in the 24-hour destroy buffet challenge, I would be all over the fish. Okay, the duck ran off. Why is he running off? What? Do you see something? Did somebody say buffet? Yes, sir. Hi, baddie. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? You know what else I can destroy? <laughs> we'd have to. Ju we'd have to just be fast. Yeah, we'd have to speed speed running. Destroy the buffet challenge. I mean, I know some... Depending on the restaurant type, sometimes they like when you hang out for a while, like bars and stuff. But like, if it's a sit-down restaurant, they kind of like... Chew you out after a little bit. The last time I went to a buffet was for Thanksgiving, because we went with my roommate's parents. But before that, the last time I'd gone was when I was like 12. I think the novelty of a phase is fun, but it's not as cost effective as it seems. I think the longest I stayed at a sit down restaurant for was nearly two hours. But that's because the service took too long. It was at a sushi place. I would lie about my age to get in for free. <laughs> I mean, you aren't short enough. 
I ain't seeing any more shrubs. Mod check shrubs? You don't look 15, more like 51. Okay, I was gonna say that, but I was gonna be nice today. No, I don't think you look like a teenager, Kim. You, you look like an adult. I ain't seen any more shrubs, so I think probably more will spawn next time. Cause like, it's similar, probably similar to Animal Crossing when you have that first stone mission, you gotta Wait a few days so you can get more stone. Get a senior discount? Shut up! I am not- Just because I'm the oldest in the chat room, okay, doesn't mean I'm a senior citizen. Okay, I'll look one more time for shrubs. More will probably spawn next time. <laughs> I can't wait to get a senior discount. Me too, man. Me too. Will you stream when you're middle-aged? Hopefully by when I'm middle-aged, I'll have a job. Or... I'll be a very, very big streamer, so that I'll have a very dedicated fan base. Because middle-aged, isn't that technically, like, 30, 40? I'm not, I'm not there yet, don't worry. You know what I do gotta do, though? Run some ads, because we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long, or... You can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for who is Prime. Click subscribe to see if you have a Prime sub available. Yes, it is free. Click subscribe. Um, after the ad, we're gonna finish this mission and then we'll wrap up. Don't worry, chatters, because since we hit a sub goal yesterday, I will be doing a bonus evening sub goal stream today. So don't worry. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I've seen clips of like elderly streamers. I haven't like seen an elderly streamer in like the discovery tab, like randomly browsing. Hey, happy animals. <laughs> do you think people lie about their age to get a senior discount like they do with children discounts? I mean, I feel it's kind of like when I worked in services, somebody said, oh, I'm military discount. I would believe them. But some companies are more aggro about showing, like, ID. Um, like, I remember I we were serving alcohol, and I I still had to request ID of, like, an 80-year-old, and he got annoyed. But it's company policy. So, it depends on the company, I guess. Grandma hot tub stream would go crazy. <laughs> Stop! Don't give him ideas! Stop! <laughs> Happy animals. So you managed to just feed your spirit animal. You've got a kind heart. A tip. The happier the animal, the more essence it produces. Make sure it's in a well-lit area and surround it with stuff it likes. From Charlotte. It'd be so awkward if someone said they're military and they weren't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would still give them the discount, though. I don't care. Because, like, the max discount they'll get is, like, a 10%. So it's like, if you're lying to get a 10% discount, then, yeah, you've hit rock bottom, dude. Cheerio, Scoutamundo. Fun fact, I was looking up the history of the island you were on. Turns out you were supposed to go to Cozy Cove. 
Spirit Scouts have been doing solo trips there for generations. It's only mildly haunted. I don't have much information about Cozy Grove, so I sent off a request to the main chapter. Maybe they'll know more from Scoutmaster Blank. They sent me to the wrong island. I would lie for any discount. Jail. <laughs> At least you're honest. Yeah, we love honesty here. Lemon is a senior and in the military? Wow. I mean, we'll never know. Lemon hasn't leaked anything. Besides that they live in the Midwest. That's the only thing they've ever leaked. A joy bug! Okay, since there's no more shrubs, I can't complete the mission. So I'll just do one more loop around. catch any fish. We'll save that for Stardew. Oh, my inventory's full. Fuck! Come on. I wonder how I upgrade my home storage, though. Like, 12 slots is not enough. Stardew? Yeah. Since we hit a sub-goal yesterday, we'll... I said I'd do an evening stream today. actually absorbed line before I was born. Did you eat them in the womb? Honestly? Giga Chad. gonna place all my decorations. It's kind of what I gotta do. I ate peace I too bright. Oh no. Stop. Colored areas. Oh. Oh, okay. This is a different type of lamp. Got it. There we go. It expands. Okay. 
Please near colored areas. So there's there's different types of lamps. There we go. A, gold, a golden egg. Okay. Whenever I play in a game, I, I always save decorating for the end. It's just a bad habit. We have another egg. Is your TikTok gonna be just Mario Kart clips once you're out of Animal Crossing clips? Probably. But I have so I have literally because I streamed Animal Crossing full time till like December and for Animal Crossing mods. I have just started editing June VODs for Animal Crossing. So I have like another year of Animal Crossing clips content to edit still. And what I what I ideally want for the clips accounts to be is to be just like stream clips, like from modern. Like, if I have a clip from today, I want it posted in two days. That's the ideal. But I just don't have the time or the... Not the work ethic, that's not the right word. I don't have the means to produce and like edit every day. outhouse <laughs> common log cabin ornament it's an outhouse why would i want this it's ugly here i place it right right by the stove Pleasant dining table? Okay, this is pretty cute. I'm only gonna take out the lamps. I'm gonna sell the rest of my things and then I think I am good to go.
Wait, I, I can do this. I can do this. Don't worry. I got this. Oh. I just had to pick it up. can pause here for today. I've done all the missions that I can. I have to wait for the shop to be upgraded. Wait for more shrubs to spawn. So we'll continue this next time. The chatters, don't worry. Don't worry. No, not time to cry yet. The stream is not over. Because we get to do calligraphy. Because we got a resub and a gifted sub today. Pog you. So, if you are new to stream, anybody who donates, or uses their channel points, we'll get that in written in a stream. So let's get some music on. Guys, I told you not to cry! Don't cry! You guys are getting an evening stream too. You guys are getting spoiled. We'll do a sub only Stardew Valley stream later today. You guys are spoiled! Here, let's do some romantic music. Are you guys swooned yet? Jake is, Jake is is one of my favorite 7 TV. I don't use it often, but it's like the only chat message I'll put into like a stone pot or, or a prezzo chat. It's so good. What is this? Thank you, Lemon, for redeeming. Way. Thank you for the gifted sub, cool Bobo. Thank you, hon. I appreciate it. Can we get some wool Bobos in chat? It went to Sinisters. They were in stream earlier. They'll enjoy that for sure. Thank you, cool Bobo. Thank you. Sorry, I laughed at Max's message. <laughs> the prime note feels ironic now. That doesn't mean you can stop using it. But thank you, cool Bobo. I appreciate it. I can't. But thank you, hon. It's like you're mad gay, peace I do, right? No, but can't can that be a compliment too? It can be a compliment. It's passive aggressive, that's why you like it. Guys, should I unenable Peace I2 Pride when Pride Month is over? Do you think that'd be a funny bit? I feel like it'd be a little bit funny. Like, you know how all the corporate accounts removed the rainbow chrome profile picture? It would be hilarious. Yeah, limited time emotes, everybody. Subscribe. What is nice about the uh, Twitch emote settings, once you, once you're eligible, you can upload emotes instantly without approval. If you prove that you're not gonna upload bad emotes. And also, if you upload, you can easily disable and enable emotes once you upload them. So like, I could for a joke, it unenable an emote and then re-enable it like a minute later. 
Wait, I should not have told you guys that. Now, now I've like leaked the bit. I was gonna make peace I too pride a follower emote, but no, you guys have to pay to be gay. <laughs> You have so much power. Yeah, I could literally ban all my chatters if I wanted to. You can make it a channel point goal to- <laughs> Yes, let's make a channel point goal campaign to unenable Peace I2 Pride during Pride Month. <laughs> oh no. The libs on Twitter will cancel me though. It was a gifted game. <laughs> oh, I can't. Would you ever unban someone? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Because you would have to do a lot to get banned in my chat. Like, unless you have, like, a bad username or you say some dumb shit right off the bat, usually it's forgivable. I would only do an unbanned stream if I had, like, 20 requests. I, I have yet to have an unbanned request. Because only people that have gotten banned is people from friends channels that have never shouted here. It's just, like, a, a preemptive cross ban. And then somebody, if they have, like, a, a bad account with, like, a bad name on it. And I, I just insta ban. So those aren't like genuine accounts usually. Give lemon. <laughs> unbanned Crystal? Crystal has been unbanned. I literally removed that ban from their record. So there's no indication that Crystal got banned. Okay, anybody else want to redeem with their channel points? Oh, Mac, you redeemed gauge. That's not a color. Okay, what is the gayest color then? I feel like purple is the most queer-coded color. Like, unironically. Oh, why am I writing cool bobo? Oopsie. Oh, Mega Dance. <laughs> Dude, I'm hungry. I can feel my stomach grumbling. And I can feel- Like, you know how when you feel the grumbles? I can feel it, like, up my throat. It's weird. Like, I'm not gonna throw up. That's not what it is. I, I can just feel the, the grumblings. I like purple as a child. I'm gay. Time one if you like purple as a child. I'll be honest. I used to say purple was my favorite color because it was my mom and my aunt's favorite color, so I felt like I had to agree with them. But in actuality, my favorite color was always green. Your name. All you gotta do is use your channel points. Any other redeemers? being bad. No, apologize to Automod, not me. 
You know, Automod is the one doing all the hard work. Okay, so that's all the channel point names for now. Dude, my stomach is so loud. Oh, you know why? It's because I ate at like 9 a.m. I usually eat lunch at like 10.30. That's why I'm hungry now. Oh, okay. I fucked up my schedule. Can we unban the F word? No! You know what you're getting? No, I'm kidding. I was gonna time you out for a minute. <laughs> you mean friends? <laughs> Please. Dude, okay, you know how I said I would only ban people if they said something bad right off the bat? Like, imagine first time chat message, first time chatter. Can we unban the F word this month? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Valid question? No! No! What is wrong with you, Meg? <laughs> First time chatters, do that please? No! Don't! You're gonna get insta ban. No, it's not worth it for the bit. Like, imagine you follow the channel. You've been waiting the whole time. You've been watching for months, lurking. You gain the courage to first time chat. You're like, oh, this is a great bit. And then I insta clap you. It, it would not be worth it. But it would be funny. We would make fun of you. And if they had done it right after you said it, yeah, they would get banned. <laughs> and then they'd have to fill an unban request, and then they'd be like, I'm so sorry, I was joking. It was for the bit. And then I will not say if I'll unban them or keep them banned. I will not disclose that information right now. I think it's funny when you watch those unbanned forum streams and the person is just chatting, ban me, ban me, and then they get banned. And then their appeal is like, I didn't think it would actually happen. Wait, is ba I think ban is a block term, actually. I don't think you guys can say that. Yeah, ban is a block term. You can't say ban in my chat. It gets automatically deleted. That's funny. Oops. <laughs> yeah, ban is a block term. I, I just made ban me the phrase a block term. Because it's annoying as fuck. And you know what's kind of funny? Is you know how when you guys send uh, messages and they get automatically blocked? So if you're typing... Like, ban me in my chat. You're just subconsciously going to think that you actually got preemptively banned. Because your message is not on the screen. Yeah, I wish for the overlay of the emotes, it had the actual animations. Like, you know, the piece I do punch. Yeah, <laughs> you're right, it's just me sitting there. <laughs> that is pretty good. page is giving um, bisexual pride look purple pink and blue not the right order but you know it's close enough Y 
you guys can't even see my face. Literally, if I flipped you guys off on camera, you guys wouldn't see it. I'm doing it right now. I'm kidding. I'm, I did not. My hands are up. Should I- should I just become a faceless streamer? You guys are covering up my face anyway. Don't make jokes. Don't make jokes. Once again, thank you, Titans, for the 13-month resub, and then Matt for a gifted sub to the chat. Thank you both. get you guys are abusing the overlay if you guys want to back on I want a million prime subs right now a million think you guys can do it bring it back what did I say those are my stakes you guys ruined it this is just like time out It was fun. You literally just said I can stop now. You sounded like you were in agony. You were in pain. Fine. I'm feeling kind today. Here you go. Have fun with your little toy. You're laughing too? Does it look like I'm laughing? <laughs> God damn, I couldn't do it! Shit. You know, people are gonna click on the stream and think I'm getting, like, hate-rated or something with all the spam. They're gonna be like, what is going on? They'll see a very active chat. I guess, I guess. But will that make them chat themselves? Hmm, peace I too, hmm. <laughs> yeah, once again, thank you, Cool Bobo, for a gift to the Thank you once again, Cool Bobo, for a gift to the chat room. I appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Last call. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate to the channel. Oh, wait. Mint. Mint donated. Love the Tamagotchi music. Thank you. It's cute. This compilation is called Sweet and Romantic Nintendo Music. And no, I'm not flirting. But hi, Alex. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Okay, Mint donated $8. Or eight twenty-five. dollars So we're going to write Mint's name. I almost forgot. Mint, if you're in chat. Thank you. Okay, this green is busted. <laughs> wind, yeah, can we get some wind in chat? It almost sounds like wink. Wind.
Now I can get Taco Bell. Well, now I can pay for my bus card. Because I actually do need to reload it this week. So thank you for paying for four bus rides. Bus is only two dollars? Is that cheap? Because in the county next to mine, it's like a buck fifty. But if you have like certain bus passes, like you can get a work pass, you can get a. I don't know how to say it, but they have special passes for disabled people. You get a reduced fare. If you prove that you're low income, they recently offered a reduced fare as well. Yeah, our, our, our county lets students ride for free. Only minors, though. You have to be under 18. So even if you have a college ID, it doesn't count. But if you're a student, like a junior high or high school, some drivers make you show your student ID. It would be cool if they offered it for college students. But yeah, I would not have gotten it because I don't have a school ID because I'm online, so... But you know what? It's still a dub that minors get to ride for free, honestly. No parents should have to worry about that. Okay, last call. Once again, thank you, Mint, for the $8 donation. I appreciate it, hun. Last call. If you want me to write your name, all you need to do is donate or use your channel points. Last call. Y'all got five. Four. Three, two, and one. We are done, everybody. We're done. So, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you all for hanging out today. We played Shamari Got. Got a little bit further in Cozy Grove. <laughs> um, I will be live tomorrow with Link's Awakening. So if you want to look forward to that. Make sure you watch tomorrow. Um, since we hit our sub goal yesterday, we will, we will be doing a bonus evening stream today. So in about an hour or two, we'll do a late night Stardew Valley. So, you know, a chill way to end the day. Once again, thank you, Cool Bobo, yesterday for helping us reach our sub goal yesterday. And thank you to Titans, Mac, and Cool Bobo for helping support the channel today. I appreciate it a lot. Just a reminder, before I go, if you aren't already, go follow my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. I just uploaded the Best of May compilation on all those platforms. So go like it, go leave a comment. What was your favorite moment of May? And thank you to Cole Bobo for being the top clipper of May. You will get your gift card later this month. My fingers are not crossed, I'm not lying. <laughs> Yes, I did finish Space for the Unbound. The video VODs are up on Twitch, and they will be uploaded on YouTube shortly as well. So don't worry about it, Alex. They are uploaded. The game that is that took um, Space for the Unbound spot is Link's Awakening. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Link's Awakening. And for the subscribers, I will see you guys tonight. Make sure, everybody, everybody, though, if you're new, follow. If you're following, make sure your notifications turn on that we don't miss a single stream. Okay, bye bye. I had fun today. Bye bye. Bye, Alex. Thank you for hanging out, even if it's just for a little bit to say hi. It's always a pleasure, man. Bye, Lemon. Enjoy your gifted sub. You better use it. You better see you and chat more too, Lemon. You need to make more fucking clips. Now that summer is starting soon, you need to get back to work. If somebody needs to usurp. Bobo being the best clipper. Somebody needs to do it. Somebody needs to step up. Okay, so I'll probably start Stardew Valley 
Let's see, it's about three. <laughs> please! Kobo's like, please, I hate watching the VODs. <laughs> I'll probably be live at like 4.30 to 5. I think the funniest thing... ...about the Twitch trying to regulate how ads are shown on individual streams... Like, somebody was on a graphics team and made those graphics, and nobody thought to say, Hey, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I can't imagine myself being on the graphics team. Like. Because graphic artists, they're usually independent workers, so they fully rely on, like, commission or contract work. So it's like, why you as the designer would see and be like, Hey, I'm working on these illustrations. Maybe this is advocating on for something I'm actually against. I don't know. I have been forced a bit too much and need stiff competition to improve. Exactly. But, but, but you've gotten better at, like, identifying good clippable moments, though. Because, like... I'll watch through all of them, and you'll like you'll clip like funny gaming moments, and then also like tangent conversations. So it's good. Why did they do it during Pride? You know what's funny? I think Twitch, like the Twitch Twitter account, has only made one Pride post, and it was promoting that they're doing a Pride stream with um with the um, Twitch ambassadors, and that stream is scheduled for June thirtieth. Why are they doing a Pride stream on the last day of Pride Month on the front page? Kind of cringe. And also, like, they've been streaming so much more about Street Fighter than fucking Pride Month. They're doing the opposite of last year. I think it's because just in general, like, a lot of companies are getting scrutiny for either being too performative or not doing enough. So I think they're doing the approach of, let's just not do much and not be called performative. I don't know, we'll see. You know, if Twitch is a true ally, they'll put me on the front page. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you guys later, subscribers. I'll see you guys later for Stardew Valley. Everybody else, subscribe with Prime, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, bye, Kim, bye, Lemon, bye, Go, bye, bye. I'll see you guys later, bye, bye.